Hello everyone, this is Satvik and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install Kali NetHunter on a non-rooted phone. So without getting any delay, let's dive into the video. Guys, first of all, really, really thank you for all your support. If you want to connect to me personally, you can check out my Twitter and the LinkedIn. The links are in the description below. And if you want to be part of my community where you can get updates regarding the content that I post and also if you have any doubts or anything like that you can check out my discord server the links in the description below so all the links in the description below so guys if you have been following my channel so i generally post the cyber security related content and uh, this video as always will be discussing about kali net hunter and how you can install it on a non-rooted phone so if you have seen some series like uh, mr robot or some other series so you can see there might be some scenarios where the uh, person or the actor or whoever you can call he just uses his phone in order to uh, successfully launch an attack so so that is like uh, so that is like a, a small scenario okay where it's used but uh, coming to the main part what nethunter is so nethunter is a project from kali linux only so kali linux we all know it's a penetration testing related uh, operating system so since we cannot carry laptop everywhere the only thing we can carry around is our phone and uh, if you are if you are able to install this stuff so what you can do is like you can simply uh, launch an attack from anywhere so that's the reason and you can see that uh, if coming to the history so there used to be nexus phones so not nessus so nessus is a scanner and nexus is a mobile phone so it's from google and some lot more manufacturers had uh, manufactured that so coming to nexus uh, phone used to support it okay so previously this current hunter used to be installed on the kernel level so you can just flash a kernel uh, and you need to have a rooted phone okay so that's the main uh, thing but now uh, even though this is my phone that i'm going to test uh, even though i'm having this phone which is rooted but i was unable to install this uh, net hunter so there i find out this uh, awesome uh, website or uh, awesome blog of them only so current hunter rootless so you don't need to have any root or anything like that you can just run some you need to just have termux so termux is a kind of uh, a command line stuff okay so where you can install and you can get a good stuff so in this video we'll be discussing about how you can install it and uh, so guys now you can see this is my android phone which is oneplus 60 in my case and uh, so this i just mirror into my laptop and i will just follow the steps that uh, which are mentioned here so the first part is like uh net hunter you need to install this net hunter app so and also guys one important thing is like you might not have all these uh, stuff that you can do from your machine but you can have something like kali linux on your machine okay so if you are able to install if you are having a rooted phone if you are able to install this full net hunter then it is going to do a lot more attacks uh, compared to this thing but uh, if you just want a, a portable stuff then you can just follow this video and it is easy to install as well so first of all just install the store okay so this is going to be a small apk just install that so I'll, i have already installed that you can see that uh, there is a store net hunter app here so this is a small application like this is like a kind of play store where you can find some tools uh, which are like a kind of uh, uh pen testing related tools here so here what we need to do is uh, we need to install this termux so just install the termux from the net hunter store only because there are a lot of versions of termux okay most of them are deprecated okay in play store if you try to install it from play store it might not be working absolutely fine okay so just install the thing from uh, net hunter only so you can find it here so if you scroll down a little bit you can see you can see this is the termux so click on that just click on install and also guys give all this uh, uh install from unknown sources and etc like that just give them okay so let me click install so it's done so let me click on open so you can see this is my uh term uh, termux kind of thing and uh, what you need to do is you need to do simple so first of all you need to run this command just copy and run it guys you don't need to face any issues or anything like that just copy it okay so so if i go to the clipboard you can see there is this thing so let me go back like i was unable to copy paste and stuff so i'm really sorry for that so you can see uh if you run this command so as the name suggests you, you are setting up the storage so every application needs some permissions right so here it is not showing it there is no pop-up or anything like that so we need to uh, give this rights 
okay so long press on this application go to the uh, information part and just go to the permissions there and allow this uh, files and media permissions and stuff okay because we will be installing something for that we will definitely require some space okay so let me go back to my termx okay so first of all what you need to do is like you need to install this uh, wget so wget we all know it's used for downloading some stuff so that's the thing so let's try to install this thing pkg uh, install Install wget you will see you will definitely face an issue here you can see you will be facing something like bad gateway issue so you can see it is all about errors only okay so i'm also going to show you how you can solve them okay so problem that you are going to get is uh, regarding the repositories we all know uh, how a major uh, what repositories play a major role in updating or installing some new stuff in Kali linux so just run this command so termux hyphen change hyphen repo so hit on that you will be getting something like this okay so just uh, uh, what you need to do is like select all these options so just click on them that's it you can see it is selected here just click on with your finger okay so it is going to be selected just click on okay and now you can choose any of those mirrors okay so most of the people recommend to use these mirrors from grimler but uh, i just insta i just use this particular thing I, even i got issue with the same issue with this grimler as well so i'm using this uh, mirrors from uh this guy so second option so you can try with other options as well it's your choice not an issue so let me hit ok so now it is going to update okay so now you can see there will be no issues here okay so what you need to do is like uh, just run the same command pkg install wget once again now you can see you will be not getting any issues so hit y so so that's the issue that's the main issue you will be getting guys so with the repositories so just follow that uh, guide okay you can pause again you can come back and just watch it once again if you are facing the issue and guys once after installing the wget so you, you shouldn't uh, directly go to this uh, thing so wget uh, link kind of thing you need downloading here so this command is for downloading and storing it on different name but before that just run this pkg upgrade command because like you'll be facing some dependency errors here and there so just run this pkg upgrade and or uh, you'll be getting some uh, options like do you want to leave some options default or anything like that just leave all of them to the default just go ahead so I'll, i have already done that and it is going to take like uh, two or three minutes of time so that's fine okay now just run this thing so now you won't face any issues kind of thing here now if i do an ls you can see there is a net install net hunter hyphen termx so then there is a normal path so you need to give the executable rights i need to just run that that's it nothing more than that so let's do that so chmod plus x and uh, just uh, mention the name and dot slash and etc like that so it is not it is going to install some dependencies and etc like that okay so let it will it is going to take some time guys and in the meantime i'm going to show you what all the features that you can get so let me enlarge this a little bit so you can see you can run some net hunter command line interface okay so uh, what you can do is like you can even have some uh, kind of a vnc kind of connection if you want to or what you can do is like what i would what i like personally doing is like i create uh, i start an ssh service on my net hunter machine and i connect uh, that uh, session on this machine or my personal machine so it will work fine so key x in the sense like it's a kind of desktop environment kind of thing you can do them okay so what i would do most probably is like i'll be showing you what i will do and you can see what are the tips that you can follow as well so if you want to uh, take if you want like there are some like if you want to install completely or if you want to take some backup or anything like that you can just follow the guide okay so let me wait let me show you you can see it is going to take some time so guys it took a lot of time like you can see it's like around 10 to 15 minutes like if i have my uh, the phone is fast enough it has a snapdragon 845 processor my internet connection is everything is great but it takes some time so keep that in mind so it takes around 10 to 20 minutes depending upon your resources and stuff so it's installed right now you can see uh, now it's uh, installed right now so let's come back and let me show you uh, this thing sorry for that so this is a command uh, these are some commands that you can use so mostly i like using this command line stuff so what i use basically is like this net hunter uh, hyphen r so if i do that you can see i'll be getting something like this so if i do who am i you can say i'm root so what i do basically is like so i can't show this right now but uh, you can i like enabling the ssh server on this kali linux machine so this is the 
good web uh, good website or you can choose any resource of your choice like how you can uh, start this ssh service and how you can connect that okay so this is the cool thing so so that's the thing that i do so i just open my phone i just start this ssh server and i just open my laptop and i just connect to that server and i'll do my work so that is what basically i do and also you have some other stuff like you can do some uh, what you call this uh, uh, remote desktop kind of environment as well it is simple only so you need to uh, start them okay so you need to configure the password so password don't keep it password so keep any password of your choice and uh, you need to connect to that through the help of vpn or whatever it can, like uh, you need to find out the ip address of your mobile phone and you can use any viewer kind of thing and you can connect to that it's kind of simple so not a big issue so these are some basic options guys and if you want to come out uh, you can simply type uh, i think yes uh, you can simply type exit so you'll be coming out of this thing so these are some few options that you can do and also guys you might be facing some issues like uh, let me go to this installing NetHunter option so you can see uh, this is like the normal view of how you can install the NetHunter. So this is like uh, original thing. So what happens is like you need to unlock your uh, bootloader. You need to do a lot of stuff here and you need to install this NetHunter image. So this installs in the kernel level. So you have more functionality for this compared to that of one we installed right now. So if you're uh, very much interested in the stuff, you can you can do this as well. But uh, if you think like just a normal Kali is fine for me, you, this is just fine. This will be absolutely fine for you. Okay, but uh, just understand the difference, guys. I've seen a lot of videos which they don't tell you the difference between the thing that you uh, install from the NetHunter image and uh, this process. Okay, so this requires root. This requires installing, uh, uh, unlocking the bootloader. You need to do a lot of, so you can see the, all these steps. So that is it, guys, for this video. So just play with it around. So... Uh, just follow the steps that I mentioned in this video. You can have like uh, even on your you don't need to uh, you don't need to worry about your privacy and etc like that. You are not doing anything. You're just installing an application and that's it. So that is it guys for this video. If you really like this video, make sure you like it and do share with your friends who are really interested in this stuff. And this is Sattvik signing off and I'll meet you in the next video. Thank you.